Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Unfiltered. Pastor David, as always, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Pastor, uh, I just received some news. I was looking up some news, some things for us to talk about. And I saw something that was from the LA Unified School District that they're going to have a coming out week to celebrate uh, children who are uh, identifying themselves as the LBGT, LBGTQ+. Plus. And, and I started thinking about the indoctrination that they're this our, our government's pushing and I wanted to get your feedback on that why would we celebrate a coming out week for kids I mean for it's just absurd because the uh, educational system isn't what it's supposed to be it's indoctrination is what it is and the educators that are, are are supposed to be helping our children to learn to read and write and do basic mathematics and learn social studies and civics and things like that are no longer doing that kind of job uh, I've been seeing this and have actually spoken on occasion over the years, over the many years, that one of the ways to change a nation is going to be to change the mind of the child. You know, if you can get the generation that is coming up, it influences future generations. And so the elderly, myself and others in my age group, even down, um, you know, 20, 30 years are, are not regarded. What they want is they want the kindergarten or the pre preschooler they want that mind. It's a, it's a satanic strategic thing, though they wouldn't even recognize that they are satanic. They're just doing what the current uh, world system is proposing for them to do. And so in, in the United States, it's no longer necessary to learn how to reason. It's no longer um, necessary to know history, to have a, uh, a sense of value for, for how your nation came to be. No, if there's somebody that had a uh, some kind of quote-unquote sin that has been hidden and needs to be exposed now, whether it be a um, a Columbus, you know, in rejecting Columbus Day, or whether it would be a, a Washington or or even a Lincoln, you know, there will be some person really trying to find something evil about them. And so what, what I get concerned about is that the government has no right to influence my children as it pertains to their, their morals and their ethics. They have no right to impose themselves as parents because that's my job. Mm -hmm. That was my job and as a grandfather that remains my job as I influence my grandchildren as well as, as my own biological children, obviously. And so that's, uh, that's something that I think that the uh, parents of the LA Unified School District, they ought to protest in the most proper way, of course, they ought to make their presence known, even though they're being regarded now as as uh, terrorists and all, mm -hmm. because the government is uh, under the sway of the wicked one. Right. The whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one, and the government, uh, as we see it today, has uh, rejected its uh, its moral foundations, and that's what's taking place. I'll be, this this weekend, I'll be sharing in uh, in northern Mexico at a pastors' conference and. I was asked to share out of the uh, the book of Daniel, and so mm -hmm. that's part of what I'll be sharing, John. When when uh, Daniel and his three friends were taken by the uh, by the uh, Babylonians, and how they were actually indoctrinated indoctrinated with the the ways and the pleasures of the Babylonians, um, they wanted to teach them to think like, to act like, to believe like, and so they were trying to take Jewish youth and make them into Babylonians. And so they wanted them to, to know all the wisdom and the intellectual mm -hmm. things that related to the philosophy of, of Babylon. Gave them new names, uh, gave them temptations to, to pleasure and to power. They, that's what they were offering so that they could make these young Jewish men into, into Chaldeans, into, into a priesthood, into uh, um, the leadership. And, and the rejection of this that you see that Daniel and his friends uh, demonstrated, it came about because they were part of the nobility of Israel who had been trained in the ways of God. And so we have to train our children in the ways of God. It is not the school's responsibility mm. to do that. And it is not the church's responsibility to do that. It is the parents' responsibility to do that. And in the case of these kids who were taken on a nine hundred mile journey that took them three to four months to to finish and all the brainwashing that started taking place there they refused to bend their knee they refused and even challenged in a sense 
the, the training of the Babylonians by saying, we will eat our Jewish diet. Our Jewish diet is a symbol of our separation to our God. And even though you gave me a new name to try and make me worship your God, I will remain faithful to my God. Why? Because they were trained in the ways of the Lord. That's why the scripture says, train up the child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart right. from it. So I would say that the parents need to, to, to do whatever is necessary. Go to the board meetings, uh, school board meetings, uh, you know, deal with this. They're your children. And I don't believe we should give the lives of other children up to uh, uh, this kind of deception. Mm. You know, you have to learn to, to live in sexual perversion. There are no homosexual babies. Amen. We need to understand, and there is no homosexual gene. This is all a, um, a tactic to get the minds of our children. We need to resist this. Do it in a peaceful way, but it needs to be firm. Amen. Well, thank you, Pastor, for sharing on that. And, and families, we need to be praying for our children, our grandchildren, and, uh, and you know, we need to come to church. I want to invite you guys to come join us this Sunday at 8.30 and 10.45. We have a guest speaker coming, Holland Davis, Senior Pastor of Calvary Chapel San Clemente. And he's going to be sharing on Matthew chapter 24, and which is about the end times. And so, yes, give a biblical response to what's taking place in Israel. Yes, right so now. So it's going to be a, a, a good time or a good study. So come on out and join us. We look forward to seeing you guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and God bless you.